course hello everyone today we are going to start the process of converting fiber wool into the fiber fibers into the wool first process is rearing and breeding of sheep in the rearing rearing means palna that means we protect the sheep into the house or any other chamber and also provide them food so that their hair can grow and we can get wool from them so this process of providing them shelter as well as food and fodder is known as rearing the next step is done is selective breeding selective breeding means we select the male sheep and female sheep according to their best qualities like they if they have very soft hairs then we breed them so that the offspring that is going to come will also have the soft hairs so that we can get a good quality of wool now the next step is processing fiber into wool how can we convert a fiber into the wool in this the first step is known as shearing shearing means cutting of the hair or the removal of the hair from the upper side we have done till here in the previous video now the step 2 is scouring scouring is the main thing that means scouring means washing when the hair are removed or cut from the body then to remove dirt grease or oil from the hairs we have to wash the hair so that that process is known as scouring after the scouring is done the hairy skin is sent to the factory where hair of different different texture are separated and sorted that means if we wash the hairs then some hair are of yellow color, brown color some hairs are of black color and some are of white color so and some have different texture so to separate that hairs we have to send the washed hair into the factories after that small fluffy fiber called burrs are packed out from the hair you have already seen in the winter winter time when we wash the sweaters then there is the cotton like particles started to come over the clothes or the sweater this is known as burr so these type of burr are collected and removed from the hairs next the step fifth the fiber are, can be dyed in the various color and the natural fleece of the sheep and goat are black goat is black brown or white that means as we know the goat have black brown or white color hairs so if we want any different color of wool then we will dye that hairs so the next step is to dye the hair which are from which the burr is separated now the fa fabrics are straightened combed and rolled into yarn the longer fiber are made into wool for the sweater and the shorter fiber are spun and woven into the woolen clothes after dyeing the fibers the longer fiber and shorter fiber are separated and the longer fiber are directly rolled into the yarn and the shorter fiber are spun and woven in, into the woolen clothes these are the diagrams of the processes which we have done so the process of fiber into wool represent as follows first shearing 
सेकेंड स्कवरिंग थर्ड सोर्टिंग फोर्थ क्लीनिंग ऑफ बर्स नेक्स्ट डाइंग एंड दैक्स रोलिंग दिस विल बी द आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द बैक एक्सरसाइज गिवन सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस स्टेप्स नेक्स्ट इज सिल्क सिल्क फाइबर आर ऑल्सो एनिमल फाइबर बिकॉज वी ऑप्टेन सिल्क फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स सिल्क वॉम स्पिन द सिल्क फाइबर द रियरिंग ऑफ सिल्क वॉम फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग सिल्क इज कॉल्ड सेरिकल्चर एज वी नो दैट वी कैन ऑप्टेन सिल्क फ्रॉम द सिल्क फाइबर देन द सिल्क फाइबर इज फॉर्म बाय सिल्क वॉम एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ रियरिंग रियरिंग मतलब पालना द प्रोसेस ऑफ रियरिंग ऑफ सिल्क वॉम टू ऑप्टेन सिल्क इज नोन एज सेरिकल्चर दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेरिकल्चर दैट द रियरिंग ऑफ सिल्क वॉम फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग सिल्क लाइफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ सिल्क मोथ आई हैव सेंट यू द वीडियो इन विच द लाइफ हिस्ट्री वॉज एनिमेटेड सो यू कैन सी अंडरस्टैंड हेयर ऑल्सो फर्स्ट द फीमेल सिल्क मोथ लेज एग्स फ्रॉम विच हैच लार्वा when which are called caterpillar or silk worm that means this female moth gives egg and then the caterpillar or silk worm is formed from these eggs the next te- stage of next stage is known as pupa after become caterpillar or the silk worm this stage is pupa if the first half of a net is hold itself then it swing its head from the side to side to form the figure of eight during this moment of the head the caterpillar secrete fiber made up of a silk that means after this stage it starting it started producing the silk and this is this moves in the shape of eight like shown in the screen then completely by moving many times it becomes like this it cover itself into the cocoon then this is made this is called cocoon in which the caterpillar lives inside after some time the caterpillar grow and then it becomes like this in the shape of butterfly and then it come out of it out of the cocoon and flown fly away and the remaining part of cocoon is straighten and we can get silk from that cocoon are the made by the proteins so the shape we of eight this is made up of the proteins that is left by the caterpillar these these uh, caterpillar or these moth are sent to the leaf of mulberry trees so this type of silk which is obtained from mulberry trees is known as mulberry silk and that moths are known as mulberry silk moth moths means kide so these are very small in size so the moth present on the mulberry leaves is known as mulberry silk moth these are some different type of silk also you can read that now one more definition 
in this paragraph is also mori culture mori culture is the production of mulberry trees for the production of silk so that we can get the silk from the silk worm so we have to produce some mulberry trees as their shelter so this production is known as moriculture so in the process of obtaining silk from silk worm we have done two definitions first is sericulture and second is moriculture so sericulture is the process of rearing of silk worm so that we can get silk is known as sericulture and moriculture is the production of mulberry trees for the shelter of silk worm is known as moriculture so these two two definition are very important in the production of silk now these are some activities you have to just read the activity now this is the process of life history of silk worm which is shown that female silk worm moth with eggs that means this is the silk worm moth and this lays the eggs these eggs are left over the leaf of mulberry after that when these eggs breaks then some caterpillar or larva are present on the leaves they eat the sides of the leaves and then start producing cocoons when the cocoon is formed they come out from the cocoon and then the left over part of the cocoon is collected and then washed and then converted into the silk this is the silk fiber made up of protein so next is here 25 to 30 days are taken by the caterpillar to produce cocoon now processing of silk a pile of cocoon is used for obtaining silk fiber that means many cocoons are collected and then we can obtain silk fibers the cocoon are kept under the sun or boiled these cocoon are kept in the sun or boiled or to exposed to the steam so that all the germs present on the cocoon is separated out the silk fiber separate out the process of taking out thread from the cocoon is known as reeling of silk that means when we get the silk thread from the cocoon then this process is known as reeling of the silk you have seen the reel of the thread present on the tailor home in the tailor shop and at your home also so that process is reeling of the thread normal thread and when we obtain the reel of silk thread then this is known as reeling of the silk reeling is done in the special machine which unwind the thread and fabric fibers of silk from the cocoon silk fiber are then spun into silk thread which are woven into the silk cloth by the weaver that means after making the reels of this fiber these reels are sold out in the market and then the people which weaves the silk fiber purchase it and then they can make the fabric from it so our chapter is completed tomorrow we will do our exercise question of this chapter so first you have to learn this keywords what is the meaning of cocoon fleece reeling scouring sericulture shearing silk moth silk worm and sorting and also the process of conver conversion of fiber into wool and also silk from silk worm 